Dennis Miller. Actually, when he had left Saturday Night Live, he was doing a stand-up routine up at the comedy club. And I was sent up as a photographer to just get some video of Dennis Miller doing his routine. And so I went and I asked for his manager, and he didn't have one, he was his own manager. And I said, Mr. Miller, I understand you're leaving Saturday Night Live, we're from NBC, we'd like to talk to you. And he said, cool, he goes, but don't leave. And I said, what do you mean don't leave? He goes, you're from around here, right? And I said, yeah. And he said, um, I get like two hours before I set, you wanna hang out? And so we went out in the continent, got something to drink, set out at the fountain of the continent, and just talked until the set was ready to go. So it was probably one of the coolest interviews I ever did. Um, I did 9-11. I went to work for WNBC, which was our sister station at the time. I went up there and worked at Ground Zero and at the Family Center at 9-11. What was that like? Um, yeah, tore you apart. It's really dead. See all these families that had hope that their loved ones were alive and you knew they weren't. And you knew you were being covered with ash every day, and that was concrete steel and probably people. Yeah. You're the second person who said that 9-11 is the story that's really stuck out to them. What, what do you think, like, as far as, like, a news perspective, why do you think that, you know, all of you guys remember it so much? Um, first, it was absolutely terrible. It was just god-awful terrible. And second of all, it's something that none of us had ever seen before. The devastation was just... It almost looks surreal when you look down the avenue and you were two blocks away and there's just a pile of rubble and you know that was thousands of people and hundreds of stories of buildings just the day or two before. Well, it's definitely going to change. It's changing now. You're doing an interview with a phone instead of with a 100-pound camera that I started with. Um, it's going to go digital. The new millennial and the younger don't really watch TV. They watch the web. And they want it now. They don't want to wait on anything. It, everything is going to become instantaneous. Earlier today, I was flying with drones, you know, shooting with drones. Um, the digital side of it is just going to explode. It's funny, when I first started, I predicted that one day we would be able to go live by hooking our cell phones to the backs of our cameras. And at that time, we had one cell phone for the whole newsroom. It was one of the big boxes. I still have it at home. And I always said, one of these days, we're just going to hook on, it's going to be like the old TV show, anybody who's old enough to remember Max Headroom, that they were live all the time. And that's what we have now, basically. We're connecting a cell phone to the back of our cameras and we can go live.